I've never been on one of those scooters. You gotta try it, Keel. I'm nervous I might break an ankle or roll my ah. ankle. Get a high ankle sprain? Nah, you'd be fine. You'll be alright. You'd be fine. What is up, everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of This Week in MLS presented by Target. I'm with Stephen Keel. And we're in Nashville! What? what? I know! This is wild! What? Look at We've got Broadway right behind us. The river. We got the Batman building. Batman. Look at this sculpture. Oh, it's awesome. You guys, this city is so much fun. We've been having a, a blast here. USA taking on Mexico. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to that. That's the main event. We're going to get to that later. Uh, but before we before we get into all yeah, the fun. Yeah, I know where you're going. Uh, there was some big, big MLS news this week. Of course, Ziggy Schmidt stepping down as the head coach of LA Galaxy. Uh, President Chris Klein said that this was a collective, right? A collective decision. There are now, I believe, six games left mm -hmm. in the Galaxy season. So the timing of this was a little bit odd. I, I read this news and it came kind of out of the blue for me, Keel. What, what were, was your initial reaction to this? News? I thought the timing was a little bit odd as well. It's coming off an international break, you know, you would have thought it maybe happened earlier. But look, I think everyone knows something's not right yeah. with the Galaxy. And you look at performances, they're shipping away almost three goals a game. I, they have, they're on a, a six game winless streak and have conceded 18 goals in that time, and, which is not good. And their last game, 6-2 loss. Anytime you lose that like that, that's not gonna be good. To a team who you are fighting for a playoff spot with. And ultimately, I think this issue is bigger than one person, but changes need to be made. Absolutely. It's like we've seen so many times before, the coach is the one. It takes that. Well, and now it's up to Dom Kinnear yeah. to get them above that playoff line. I believe they're sitting in eighth place as it stands right now. And Dom Kinnear, obviously a guy mm -hmm. who yeah. has a ton of MLS pedigree. He has coached many a team, um, has had a huge amount of success. Are you optimistic that he might be able to right this ship for the Galaxy? I, I'm an optimistic guy, so yes. Uh, yes, you are, so Yes to that answer. I love you. Uh, but it, it is a large mountain to climb. Yeah. Six games. Every team in front of them has points on them, games on them, so it is a tall, tall task. But Dom Kinnear, he's been in these positions before. He's been around the box. I think he'll come in, hopefully solidify that defense. Yeah. That's the key thing first is they got to lock down that back They can't be giving away down. two, three goals a game and to be uh, successful. From a former defender right here, he's saying it all. Don't give away goals. He knows, don't go. The secret to soccer, score more than the other team, but don't goals give away a lot of goals. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> you know what? We wish Ziggy all the best. He's such a great dude. Winning his coach in, in MLS history. Absolutely. So, you know. Hope can't say enough nice things about him. Can't say enough nice things about Ziggy. Okay, so on a, po a more yeah, positive Yeah, I was going to say, man, you really came more in with a positive. downer. I know, I know. Let's get this party know, started. We're, we're here for USA Mexico. I know, Mexico. Okay. As we said, we're here for USA Mexico, but there was some MLS action this there week, was. and that's what we're going to talk about. So we are going to get to um, our twin takeaways. Yeah. Are we ready to do this? You want to go first? I'm going to go first. Yeah. I you always I let me go. I usually yeah. let you no, go no, first, no. but I, I'm feeling I'm just yeah. feeling the vibe right now. Yeah, so I'm going to take it. Let's go. I'm going to take it. And okay. you know what I'm going to talk about, Keel? No. DC United. Oh. DC United. Okay. How much fun has this DC United team been to watch? Lately, right? They are coming off. They beat Atlanta United, who, by the way, clinched the playoff spot. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Atlanta. Uh, coming off a 3-1 win against Atlanta. They go to NYCFC, get a point on the road. Not an easy place to play at. They had only lost once at home. A goal from your boy, oh, Steven. Steven. Steven, as we know, Steven yeah. Vermont. That was a heck, heck of a header. Yeah, I love that little bold header from a center back. Boom. I Let mean, the big dog eat, you David, know? David Villa pretty much bailed them out, and I believe the 86th minute with that beautiful free mm -hmm. kick. Uh, but for DC, they have um, their next seven games are at home, and they have been playing so, so well. This is a team that I think they are going to sneak into the playoffs. I, you heard it here. I think they're right. going to do it. <clears throat> I like that. And they control their own destiny. Seven yes. games at home at Audi Field. They want to turn that place into a fortress. Destiny's in their hands. Destiny is in their hands. NYCFC, on the <clears throat> other hand, this, I, they're going to make the playoffs, but they this is... They're in a bit of a, a rut right now. That's a good way. Do, Dome Torrent came out and said he was pleased with the way they played right. in this game. They had like 28 shots on goal, I think. Um, but it, it just hasn't, it has not really come together in the last few weeks for them. Yeah. I, think they're, I think they are also winless in their last six matches. They're, this is not a good time to kind of hit the slump. And, and I think it was Antoine Tinnerholm who came out and was saying, you know, I'd, I'd rather win and play ugly yes. than lose and play good, exactly. which is kind of what we're saying right now. And as you get closer to the playoffs, it's all about winning. 
they, in a little, they, it seems almost like they've like lost ideas yeah. about how well, they're going to play wanna... forward, how they're going to build on the back, are they going to build on the back, are they just lumping long balls? It's a little bit with the change of formation. Yep. A little bit of disarray at NYC you, in the you, blue side of New York. At this point, you're starting to think about playoff positioning and and what's important. So they've got a they've got some work to do. Absolutely. But DC on the up and up. I like where you yeah. went there. Now we're back in the positive. Yeah. Cut. Is it mine? It's yours. All right. For me, we're going out to the heartland. Yeah, I said the heartland, heartland. of America. Uh -huh. Sporting Kansas City picked up a big 1-0 win over Orlando City thanks to a goal from Felipe Gutierrez. Gutierrez. I need to roll my R's a little bit Gutierrez. better. His first goal back from injury. Good job yeah. on that. Big three points. Now it moves him one point off of Dallas, right the top there. in the West. But for me, I got to go back. Man of the match, Tim Melia. He didn't have much to do, but when he was called upon, he came up huge. Two big saves on Dom Dwyer to preserve his 12th shutout of the year. Ridiculous. The record is 16 in a season uh -huh. held by Tony Mio in 2000. He's got seven games. Ooh. He needs five shuttles to break it. I think he does it. I, I think he does it. I like it. Right? I like the comment. Big, big, Tim Melia, man. What a great guy. He is. He's the best. So that was, that was my twin take. That was and a good it, one. And because it's, it's kind of a special day when we're on location. It is, I, I know. Can, can I do like one more little Of course twin? you can. One no. more. Okay. There's no we're, rules when we're on the oh, road. Oh, I love no rules. So real quick, got to give, got to give a shout out. Diego, time will smash those names. Diego Valeri. Diego Valeri! Third player in MLS history for have four seasons with double digit goals and assists. He's now in good company with Preki and Jaime Moreno. Yeah, it's amazing. Dude's a beast. Whenever you're in the company of those two guys, you're something special. He's so good. He's so, just and they also so won 2 0, so Portland taking care of business at home. Good job, Which Portland. They to do, because they had been kind of, after that massive win streak, right. and they kind of. You know, so those are my twim takeaways, <laughs> plural. Like Thanks for letting me do that. That was course, fun. Good job, course, Diego. Of course, of course. Proud of you. I love it. Um, okay, so Kiel, we got to get to the the reason. Yeah, yeah, come on. The main event: USA taking on Mexico in a friendly right here in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Kiel and I had a chance to catch up with some of these fans who are always, always a good time. Let's hear what they had to say. USA Mexico. A lot of these guys that are going to be taking the field. This is their first experience in this rivalry. As as seasoned fans who have watched many a USA Mexico game, what would you say to those young players about this rivalry and what makes it special? That you throw everything out. You throw out records. You throw out previous games. You throw out the fact that you didn't make the World Cup. All of that is left at the doorstep, at the gate. When you enter in the locker room, you're you're representing your country, and there's no bigger game, no bigger match that you want than to face your rivals, your number one competition. So uh, all the, you know, you leave all the, uh, all this you know, stuff at the door and you're gonna compete 100% uh, on the field. I have been struck here in Nashville by the amount of Mexico fans that I have seen in and around the town. I mean, Nashville in general, it's, it's kind of turning into this like awesome sports me mega center. We've got a soccer team coming here. How has Nashville been, do you think, as a host for this rivalry game? What do you think? I mean, it's it's outstanding. We've been talking, we're, we're out here from Phoenix and uh, in Orange County. <laughs> and oh no! Oh, the merrier, the more the merrier! Speaking of Phoenix, so we've been, here, advantage. Yeah, but we've been here from Phoenix and uh, and it's just been, it's been a wonderful uh, energy. Uh, the crowds out here are fantastic and it's just the perfect uh, weather, perfect environment. Uh, we could not be more excited. It's much better than 110 and, uh, and a blazing sun on us. I, I would love to tailgate, go to a free Luke Bryan concert, walk over, <laughs> come watch USA Mexico. It doesn't get better than Nashville. And AO Nashville, shout out to them. Shout out to the Mexico fans. They've really created an amazing environment. It's friendly. You know, certainly uh, we're rivals, you know, in the stands, but friends outside the, 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 the match. And that's really what's important. Also, I want to bring up, it is a special day. You know, it's September 11th, a, a really, really memorable day for American history. Uh, you know, what's the significance of having this particular match on this day? Uh, you know, we're we're definitely happy to have it here on Patriots today. I definitely think it like, definitely ratchets it up a notch, but it just kind of also lets us know that we're all in this together. You know, as other people that work as first responders, work in the healthcare environment, work as police officers, we're all in this for our community. We're all in this to be together. Even the Mexico fans as well, happy to be here as part of a group. Soccer brings awesome. everyone together. Everyone. Soccer brings everyone together. Absolutely, absolutely. So, let's well do said. this. Well uh, said. USA, 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 USA. <laughs>
USA. I love those USA fans, man. They're the best, and they are awesome. so excited about all the young dudes. And guess what? Those young dudes showed up tonight. The big 1-0 win over Mexico. Keel, for you, who stood out tonight? I think that's a pretty clear, obvious answer. New York Red Bulls' Tyler Adams. I knew it! Right? <laughs> Who else was I going to pick? He scores the game winner, his first career international goal. Congrats to him. Mm -hmm. What a performance. I mean, this guy, the ground he covers is unreal. Yeah. The first half, he's the first line of defense, putting pressure on their center backs, tracking all the way back to his own 18 and clearing balls. The dude's stock is skyrocketing. I, I, you know can't else, say enough nice things about him. Do you know what else I love about him? Yeah. Spoke to him a little bit after the game. It just, like, his composure. The guy is just handling all of this right. so well. And he was just talking about how, you know, with every game they get more confidence. And you can just kind of see it. He's got he's got some swagger. He's got that, that Tyler Adams. It, that, that it factor. So. Definitely. He's one to be excited about. I'm we pretty, love him. We love Tyler, Tyler Adams. You know who else I like tonight? Yes. Zach Steffen. Oh, Coming up big a couple times. Some, Absolutely. Some really, really solid saves. I feel like this is a guy who's kind of, uh, he's taking taking that that starting goalkeeper position and just sort of like owning it. But like, nope, this is mine. He's kind of solidifying himself as uh, U.S.'s number one, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I, I think he's been fantastic, not only with the crew, but with the U.S. national team. Big saves when he's been called upon. So yeah. I like that. I know. Tyler and uh, Zach. Good job, Tyler guys. Tyler and Zach. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I mean, this is, obviously this is a friendly, but beating Mexico, USA's biggest rival is always going to be a, a big deal, and this was right. this was a, a really really good moral victory for for the whole team. Um, I just you know you gotta gotta feel we good talk about, about it. I know I think coming in that like, the result wasn't important. You know they won or lost, it was always going to be good. Sure. But listen, winning is a habit, and you can look at the reactions to all those guys on the field. This meant something. It to did. Them. And you can see how the game was playing out, the intensity, the, the feisty battle. Oh. Things were getting chippy. Uh, so this was more than just a game, just a friendly. This had a little bit of meaning to I'm it. I'm glad you brought that up, oh. Keel, because part of the show, my favorite part, is yes. our, did you see that? I have no button. I have no Simon, Simon Borg Simon. popping Simon. up from Nissan Stadium, unfortunately. But um, did you see that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good interpretation. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you were practicing. Matt Miazga. Oh! How about Matt Miazga? I'm sorry. I'm down here. Oh, excuse I'm down me. here. Were you trying to speak to me? <laughs> were you trying to speak to me? <laughs> Just so, I mean, that was some serious smackdown oh, right there. And I was watching the entire the, the game. He was chirping with everybody, mm -hmm. and I love that. I, I know. love that he brings upon and says, "You know what? Yeah, I'm here." He has the confidence as a swagger to, to, to get in those altercations. It and just stuff. it it fueled the fire. I mean, oh, that's that's kind of oh what you gosh. expect in these matchups. But but I oh I love I loved that moment. I was like, oh. No, he did it. It was so good. Good anyway, job, that's Matt. Our, that's coming in hot. See that. Coming in hot. <sighs> coming in hot. USA won. Mexico nil. I'm down here. Keel's up here. Yeah. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to get in the comments. Tell us uh, what you thought of the game. Who stood out to you? How Keel and I, our performance, obviously, I think we did fantastically well. I'm Zach Steph. You're Tyler Adams? Yes. Okay, that's fair. Zach Stefan. Can I be Matt Miazga? Yes. Yes, you can. Down here again. Thanks for watching, guys. See we'll ya. see you soon.